Hi, my name is Mo Costa, and I'm here to talk to you about my master's thesis for record patronization with mesons at ELHC. I know it's a bit cliche, but let's start by talking about the most precise instrument we have to describe our world, the standard model. It describes elementary particles, quarks, leptons, and bosons, and their interactions, of which we are particularly interested in the strong interaction. The quantum field theory that describes interaction is called quantum chromodynamics and is mediated by a gluon. It is a SU3 component of the Saturn model, and one of its key features is called color refinement hypothesis, which states that quarks are not allowed to propagate freely and can only propagate in colorless states where they are bonded. In fact, if you pick a quark in one of these bond states and try to pull the quarks apart, it will actually be more energetically efficient for the creation of a quark antiquark pair. This process is called adenization, and in this work we are interested in studying two different mechanisms for it. The first being fragmentation, which is more likely to occur in high momentum regions, and coalescence, which is more likely to occur in lower momentum regions. In our work, we will be focusing our study on B metals, specifically the B sub S and B plus meson, on the following decay channels. Why do mesons might be asking? Well, this choice is due to two important qualities. Firstly, they have a longer lifetime, which means they will suffer a lot of displacements from the primary position vertex for decaying, and will therefore create secondary decay vertex, which is much easier to distinguish from the rest of our data. Secondly, they are massive enough to be generated thermal products. In normal momentum, we have many more possible events that are likely to occur when compared to the high momentum region. This will introduce a lot more. As you could see, the sector background will be problematic for analysis, and so we need to implement more advanced machine learning algorithms into our data selection. Artificial neural networks are a special kind of machine learning structure that is inspired by biological neural networks that constitute the brains of living things. This structure is based on a collection of connected units which follow neurons in a biological brain. Each connection works the same as synapses, transmitting a signal to neighboring neurons, which in turn process them and output another signal to other neurons connected to it, with the network being trained using a labeled dataset, adjusting the weights of the connection between the neurons until the predicted outputs match the actual outputs as closely as possible. On the other hand, decision trees break down a dataset into smaller subsets based on the values of the inputs, creating a tree-like structure. The algorithm selects the best feature to split the data at each node, with the aim of minimizing the impurity of the subsets. Boosted decision trees is simply training a bunch of decision trees sequentially, making it so that each tree learns from the mistakes of the previous one. In addition to the study of this coalescence mechanism, we also have a second goal for our work, the quark gluon plasma. It's a set of matter that only exists under extreme conditions, like very high temperature or density, and in this state, the quarks and gluons become free instead of being bound together into hadrons. Understanding this state of matter is very important, since this believes that it existed just after the Big Bang. To study this plasma, we'll need to calculate something called the nuclear modification factor. We obtain this factor by comparing the cross-sections between proton-proton collisions and lead-lead collisions, being the main difference between these that lead-lead collisions have production of QGP, whilst proton-proton do not. We will be working on calculating the cross-sections for the proton-proton collisions using data collected on the compact muon solenoid, a general-purpose particle detector at the LHC and one of the most advanced things humanity has ever built, being able to accelerate particles to near light speeds. With these calculators, we'll be able to study the effect of the QGP under the denization process and get a better understanding of this process and of our universe at its beginning, letting us advance physics with a bang.